Sixth grade, module four, lesson 10, problem set. Rewrite the expression in standard form. Use the fewest number of symbols and characters possible. A, five times y. Remember, we don't need this time symbol. When we're multiplying, we can just put the coefficient five next to the variable y. So just simplify it to five y. B, seven times d times e. Again, we don't need those multiplication symbols, so I'm just gonna make it seven d e. Five times two times two times y times z. Now this, we can multiply five times two times two. Five times two is 10 times two would be 20. So I'm gonna simplify it to 20 y z. And then we have three times three times two times five times d, which three times three is nine, 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 times 5, let's do that really fast, 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 90. So we have 90D. Number 2, write the following expressions in expanded form. So now we're just going to do the opposite of what we were doing. They've given us the, um, the problems simplified, we are going to expand them. So 3g, we're going to make it 3 times g. 11mp would be 11 times m times p. 20yz, we'll do 20 times y times z. And 15abc would be 15 times a times b times c. 3, find the product. So 5 times 5d times 7g. So if we expanded that out, we'd have 5 times d times 7 times g. Except I wrote a 7 there instead of a 5. So I can do 5 times 7 and get 35. And I can't do it multiply d or g. So I'm just going to leave it. It's 35dg. And then the last one. 12abc will be 12 times a times b times 3cd. And I can do 12 times 3. That is 36. And the rest are variables, so I'm just going to do 36abcd. And that is the end.